for Yevo marks 100 years since killing of Archduke Ferdinand and Bosnia is commemorating 100 years since the assassination of Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand and in Sarajevo. The act that triggered World War I. Cultural and sporting events, including a concert by the Vienna Philharmonic, are marking the occasion in the city. Gavrilo Princip, who shot the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, continues to be a divisive figure in Bosnia. The shots fired by the Bosnian Serb on June 28, 1914 sucked Europe's great powers into four years of warfare. Bosnia's Serbs, Croats and Muslim Bosniaks are still divided over the role Prince played in bringing tensions to a head in Europe in 1914, with counter-commemorations planned by Bosnian Serbs. In Austria, France Ferdinand's and great-granddaughter and family will be holding events at the family castle at Artstetten, near Vienna, where he is buried. Leaders of Serbia and some Bosnian Serbs are boycotting official events, which they say are designed to incriminate Serbs. On Friday, Serbs in eastern Sarajevo unveil the statue of Princip, seen by them as a national hero who ended years of occupation of the Balkans by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In the eastern town of Visegrad, actors will reenact the murder of Archduke Ferdinand and, and his wife. Sophie, and the Belgrade Philharmonic will play music by Vivaldi. The commemorations in central Sarajevo will take on a completely different tone to those in the east of the city, says the BBC Sky Delaunay. The Vienna Philharmonic will play a selection harking back to Habsburg days, including Haydn's Emperor Quartet, he adds. The concert is being held at the newly restored National Library which was destroyed during the 1990 siege of the city by Bosnian Serb forces in the Bosnian War. Austrian President Heinz Fischer will be attending the concert, which is the centerpiece of official events marking the anniversary. Commemorations are due to close with an open-air musical memorial event in Sarajevo. 28 European Union leaders gathered on Thursday to mark 100 years since the beginning of World War I at Ypres in Belgium.